Hello friends, welcome back to our channel IT India. This is going to be session 7 for the series that we have started, AWS Tutorials for Beginners. In this video, we are going to discuss the topic, User Data in AWS. Apart from that, we will also discuss how to modify user data of EC2 instance. First of all, what is user data in AWS? So basically, this is the set of commands or data that you can provide to an instance at the launch time. So if you are launching an EC2 instance and want to have Docker installed on the newly launched EC2, then you can provide the set of commands in the user data field of AWS EC2 instance itself. Because till the moment instance comes up, the Docker will be installed in it already. You will not be supposed to run the command again manually once the instance is up and all. And uh, it is helpful in many ways. Uh, we will discuss the advantage of that as well. So before that, uh, let's discuss about how to modify user data of EC2 instance. I will also show you the same on the AWS console itself. So step one is stop the instance. So for modifying the user data of EC2 instance, it is mandatory to stop the instance first. Otherwise, you will not be able to edit the user data. So you must be familiar with this console. First of all, you have to select the instance. Then you have to click on instance state as it is clicked here. Then you will see the option to stop instance. And by this way, you will be able to stop that. After that, step two, update the user data. So for that, you have to click on actions after selecting the instance again. Then you have to click on instance settings. After that, you have to click on edit user data. There you will be able to modify the changes as per your requirement. Then step three, which is the requirement or the most critical step we can say, modifying user data. So here is your user data. You have this script. This is just sample script. This is just for understanding purpose. So basically you can make any changes. Suppose there is this command mkdir ec2 user data. You can add additional command uh, ch mode 777 slash ec2 user data just to change the permission of this directory anything you can do by modifying this user data as per your requirement and then you just need to click on save only that's all so here we have learned two things what is user data and how to modify that so i will show you both the things in the aws console itself first thing will be how to use the user data and then how to modify the user data so I'm just going to the AWS console. Here I'm clicking on uh, EC2 launch instance. I'm naming this instance user data itself for just understanding purpose. Uh, and then uh, test keep here, everything should be fine. And then in advanced detail, you will be able to get the option of user data. Here you can type the commands as per your requirement. Suppose I'm just creating one sample hashibang slash bin bash okay this is the line which is mandatory in each user data after that you can type any command whatever you want to run there so here i am creating under slash ec2 user data this directory i am creating there if this is getting created there then we can confirm that user data is running fine so i am just launching it so this instance has got launched and now it will take some time to be up as of now it is in pending state once it comes to running state then we will connect to it and then we will verify if that is working there or not so now it is running but still it is in initializing state basically the status checks are still in initializing state so still let me try to connect if i am able to connect so it is taking some time but now it is finally connected so i'm making myself as root user however it was not necessary i am under root directory pwd and we had created the directory ec2 slash user so let me check if it is there ls hyphen ltr so you can see here is the directory and when it is created it is created today itself uh, let me check the date for today here in this instance itself 
date date is 6 and time is 548 and it was created at 547 just one minute ago so yeah it has worked and this is the thing that i wanted to show you and now uh, another important point how to modify the instance user data so you can select the instance as we have discussed you can uh, click on actions then you can click on instance settings then edit user data but you are not able to edit the user data because it is clearly stating to edit your instance user data you first need to stop your instance that i have already told you that it is mandatory to stop the instance if you want to change the user data so we are concerned about this so instance state stop the instance so we have stopped the instance and uh, this one web server one is not required so i'm terminating this one so user data instance is getting stopped as of now it is in stopping state only still we will not be able to edit user data because it should be in stopped state only you can see here still it is asking you to stop the instance yeah now it is stopped we can select the instance we can go to actions again instance setting edit user data and yeah here we can change as per our requirement i am typing one more command mkdir slash ec2 uh, not this one let's make different directory uh, suppose it is 6th of april let me type april 6th so i have saved the changes and what do you think will this user data or will this command work there I don't think so but let's try so I have started the instance yeah now it is running so I can try to connect to this instance click on connect button it is connected now sudo su hyphen I'm root user now pwd I am under root only so now what I want to check ls hyphen ltr i want to check all the directories so ec2 user data is there but the directory that we have created april 6th is not there and why it is not there because user data hasn't worked this time but why it hasn't worked the issue is that user data works only on the first boot of the instance or at the launch of the instance however it may work on subsequent reboots or for subsequent restart as well but for that we have different user data and there is particular script in which you have to mention your commands if you want to run the user data at every reboot or every stop start of the instance so as of now it hasn't worked i will discuss that topic how to make the user data to run at every boot in the next video and this was all in this video thanks for watching this video have a great learning and please do subscribe to the channel it india